Welcome to the shop. Today we're going to talk a little bit about dust collection. We've all been there. We've done a lot of cutting with our saws. Shop gets all full of dust. A little later on you start coughing. It's not good. Today we're going to look at a modification to collect dust using something as simple as a pipe fitting and a couple screws. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do just to be on the safe side is Loosen the nut that holds my blade and we're going to remove that and Obviously make sure your saw is not plugged in Now every saw is a little different, but what you want to do is look at your saw and try to gauge where will be the best place to install this fitting. And at what angle do you want the discharge? Depending on the kind of hose you're going to use, you may want to angle something a little further down or a little further out. So what I'm looking to do is kind of elongate my hole make it a little more oval shaped and if I cut kind of at that angle I think that'll be perfect for the saw Make sure that you have clearance from your guard lever and from your lower plate. We're going to move on now to making some straps to attach. Keep in mind if you're cutting a piece of wide stock, if you have the hose you're going to be using, make sure you don't fasten this at an angle where you won't be able to use your hose. You may need to have your exhaust straight out from the board or parallel to your board. What I want to do now is place my fitting where the exhaust will be attached. I'm going to mark with a pencil exactly where that's going to go. And this upper part, since we don't want any sawdust flying out of there, we're just going to tape that up. And we'll trim that up. Next thing we're going to do is get a piece of lightweight sheet metal. We're going to make two straps. You may need two, maybe three for your particular saw. And we're going to add little screws that are self-tapping. We'll pre-drill holes for that. But roughly we want a strap that is probably a little more than an inch long. And we'll pre-drill those before we bend them and assemble. Test fit the angle of your braces and make sure they're going to fit and then mark holes for drilling.
So one little change I need to make, that screw is protruding a bit. So I got to file that down. Well, we're just about ready to do our first test cut. Now the shop back hose that I'm using comes with an inch and an eighth outside diameter hose. Uh, I had to wrap some duct tape around that to make it fit in the inch and a quarter fitting. But that's nice and snug. I'll be doing this cut left-handed, so I'm going to be standing off to the right side of the saw. And let's see how it does. I have this hooked up to my whole shop vacuum system. It's not as strong as the normal shop vac, but let's see how it does. Well, that's still a lot of sawdust on the floor. Not as much as usual. Let's try one with the shop back. Well, looking at the shop floor, it's hard to tell if there is any significant improvement but it was an experiment i know it had to pick up some sawdust well that's it for today well i think for me the answer is pretty obvious this craftsman saw is not designed to take a retrofit very well for collecting sawdust there's still an awful lot of dust that doesn't get back here to the chute and comes out the front, blows out the front. If you have a better solution, I'd like to hear about it. Thanks for watching. See ya.